This video is about the integral of secant cubed of x, um, and if you've ever had to do this integral, you know that it is uh, pretty awful. I mean, a lot of stuff going on. So, we start with the integral of secant cubed of x, and uh, it kind of looks to me like we have two options. One is to use a tree identity, but that kind of goes nowhere. Um, so the other option is to use integration by parts. So that's what we're going to do. So we say u is secant of x, and dv is secant squared of x, dx, um, making those choices so that I can find a derivative and antiderivative. So du is secant x tan x dx, and v is tan of x. So now we just apply the formula. So secant cubed, the integral of secant cubed is uh, uv, so secant x tan x, minus the integral of v and du, and I'm going to actually uh, simplify that, so that's secant x tangent squared of x dx. Okay, so I'm going to box that and call it number one, and I'm going to box that and call it number two, because now I need to figure out number two here. So now we're going to work on this. So the integral of secant x tangent squared of x dx, now I actually am going to use that uh, trig identity. So it's a Pythagorean identity, 1 plus tan squared of x equals secant squared of x. I'm going to rearrange that to get tan squared of x is secant squared of x minus 1, and make the substitution. So I have that this integral equals um, secant of x times the quantity secant squared minus 1. And now let's see, so we have this, and I'm going to distribute, get... Uh, the integral of secant cubed minus secant of x dx, and then break that into two integrals. And notice that the integral of secant cubed showed up again, um, and sometimes that's good. So that's number two from uh, back before. So you'll recall that we had this. It's kind of a lot of recopying on this. Uh, I assume you're doing this on paper somewhere where you wouldn't have to do this, but uh, it's one of the limitations of this. So I had that before, but you can see the things in the red boxes are equivalent, so I'm going to rewrite it, uh, making the substitution. So secant cubed, the integral of secant cubed is secant x tan x minus the integral of secant cubed dx minus the integral of secant of x dx. But remember, that's all in parentheses, so it's minus the quantity of that stuff. Um, and that's good because we have secant cubed, the integral of secant cubed on both sides, but they have opposite signs. So um, when I distribute that negative sign, it allows me to eventually simplify this thing. So just distributing the negative sign. I think it's important the first time or three that you do this to show every possible step. So now I'm going to bring that secant cubed over, well the integral of secant cubed, and I end up with this, and let's uh, box that and call it number three, I guess. So uh, now we have to work on number three. So let me recopy this here. Okay, so that's number three. And within number three, we have one integral left that we really need to do, and that's the integral of secant. So uh, I don't even know what color that is anymore. But uh, integral of secant. So the integral of secant you might have memorized, which would be beneficial to you, or uh, I'm going to do it. So uh, it relies upon this really clever trick where we multiply by a very, very clever form of one. And that form of 1 is secant x plus tan x over secant x plus tan x. And uh, why would you do this? Well, it works. Um, so once we distribute, you, I mean, maybe you can see, that numerator uh, is two trig derivatives. And which two trig derivatives? Well, it turns out it's the derivative of secant and the derivative of tangent. So this is set up for a u substitution. So u is the denominator. And... Uh, du is secant x tan x plus secant squared of x, the whole thing dx. So that integral above there becomes du over u, which we know is natural log of the absolute value of u. Um, so we get this. All right, so put the same color box around that thing. So we have uh, the integral of secant of x is uh, the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tan x. That's worth memorizing, by the way. Um, so we can rewrite this thing, hopefully. We had uh, this that we needed to deal with, and we figured out um, the thing in that box there is that. So now we just have this. 
We're almost done. I mean, we're pretty much done. So, I mean, this gets easier if you repeat it, but I don't know why you'd repeat it and not just memorize the answer. So, finally, the integral of secant cubed of x dx is secant x tan x plus the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tan x all over 2, and then plus c. It would be horrible to forget plus c at that point. Um, and you might notice that it's just the average of the derivative of secant, which is secant x tan x, and the antiderivative of secant, which is the natural log of the absolute value of secant x plus tan x. So it's the average of those two things, which is kind of neat, and uh, makes it really, really easy to memorize. So uh, just one final time, let me write it out for you. Notice this took me six minutes just to do one antiderivative. Um, and it's, it's kind of the worst antiderivative on Earth. Not really, but, you know, obviously not really. Uh, but anyway, if you're wondering how to do it, that's how you do it. So good luck.